for you guys that have time off now after a pretty wild weekend. Uh, I guess the message's been this week to try and see what you guys were able to do last weekend going on in the competition break. Uh, you know, just keep moving forward. You know, uh, obviously yeah, we, we're, we're happy with how we, we play those two games and obviously want to keep that stuff going. So we yeah, just keep focus and, and uh, move forward. What was the practice like this week with finals? What was the difficulty of that? And I feel like you still got normal work in this week. Yeah, I think we still got, got our work in, but it's just uh, we got it in the afternoon now, so we can sleep in a little bit. That was good. But yeah, I think uh, the main difference is that we didn't practice uh, early in the morning. What was maybe different from the last two days compared to the uh, You know, I think. Uh, we've been talking a lot about trust, you know, trusting each other, and you know, I think after that, that first time we had a crit, you know, it's something that we don't want to happen, want to let happen again. So you know, we just have to go out there every game and keep pushing. And we know now what it takes. I think that this is good. the games that we get to play together. You know, now we know what it takes. And we don't want to let something happen like that. Hey, after going through this for a while, have you, uh, you know? Day before Christmas, day before Christmas. Oh Have you guys it's checked cool. out yet, or are they still locked in? Uh, they're still locked in. I mean, sometimes you know we have like Coach Gay scouts that kind of difficult to see. You know, he's all over the place. We try to you know try to keep our focus on the task. Would you say Coach Gates is the most overrated assistant coach uh, in the United yeah. States? Yeah, <laughs> up there. I know he's up there. Uh, <laughs> I love you too, baby. Yeah. How, how does that, that trust stuff result in the spacing? Because a lot has been said about your spacing and getting open shots and things like that. How yeah. does that relate to that? I, I mean, yeah, just keep moving the ball. You know, maybe the ball was sticking a little bit at the beginning, so that the trust maybe comes in and, and moving the ball, trusting your teammates and, and making the right plays. And yeah, what's it like playing with Cam? He, he seems like he can find you or anybody else. Just you play with a point guard like that before. I mean, it's, I mean yeah, it's, it's unbelievable to play with him because you can. Yeah, he sees you wherever you are on the court. That's I like that a lot because I make all these cuts, so he, he's, he always know where I'm at. So it's good. It's very nice to play with a like that. And how, how do you keep this going, even though you might not be playing a name type of a team, you know, a big name team? How do you keep this, you know, uh, continuing to go? Yeah, you know, we just got to go out there and then and, and, and get, get off to a good start. I think that's very important. And, you know, as you said, that maybe it's not a big name. We have to approach it the same way as a Big Ten game because, you know, we know what it takes to win those type of games now, and we just have to have the focus on, you know, just, no matter the opponent, go out there and, and do our best and win. I got a question. No. No, no more questions. <laughs> how, how excited are you to play with Dave Walker next year? Uh, who's that? <laughs> <laughs>